SpaceX's massive new Starship blasted off from Texas today. It didn't go exactly as planned, but CBS's Chris Van Cleve explains why SpaceX considers the test a giant leap forward. The most powerful rocket ever built blasted off this morning. It was SpaceX's third test of its enormous 397-foot-tall super-heavy Starship rocket, technology crucial to NASA's return to the moon. The previous two launches ended in dramatic explosions. This time, the rocket's 39 engines powered Starship safely into space. Okay, we got a Starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. But not everything went to plan. Moments after these dramatic images of re-entry, heating the craft to more than 2,500 degrees, Starship broke apart. We are making the call now that we have lost Ship 28. The rocket's booster was also lost after the launch. SpaceX had hoped to attempt rocket-controlled descents with both. Getting the Starship part of that up into space and beginning re-entry, collecting all that data is a huge step forward for them. CBS News space analyst Bill Harwood. They're trying to do something no one has ever even attempted. And the fact that they lost the Starship on reentry, I don't view that as very significant at all in the third test flight. They're going to collect enough data from this uh, to figure out how to fix that down the road. A step closer to human boots on the moon, with many more still ahead. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Los Angeles.